Do you ever find yourself watching a TV show and thinking, oh, that looks so good? Well, whether or not you are a fan of K-drama, you have to admit that their food sequences will definitely make your stomach tingle. Look at that right there. Anne and I recently finished Crash Landing on You, which is kind of like Romeo and Juliet, but instead of Capulets and Montagues, you have uh, two star-crossed lovers from North and South Korea. Spoiler alert, no, they don't commit um, mutual suicide at the end. <laughs> Since these shows are so popular in Korea, they are a great avenue for advertisers. So a lot of the times you will see the same restaurant featured across multiple shows. This one in particular has fried Korean chicken lots of times. So if you take a close look to their table here, this is crash landing on you. There's this fried chicken. And then there's another chicken here and it's glazed. Look at those ridges and how perfectly fried that looks. So that's what we're trying to do today. And if you're hearing lots of screams and giggles in the back, it's my newborn baby who just seems to love it when I speak to camera and talks over me. This particular chicken scene seems to be showing us bone-in chicken. And after some research, I found that originally in South Korea, all the bits and ends of the chickens were used for fried chicken. So I'm gonna do one version with a whole chicken that I will break down into about 20 pieces. If you want more drumsticks and thighs, you can always get a few more and section them out. For the drumsticks, I like making little slits down the middle just to ensure an even cook. I'll also cut up some boneless chicken thighs for good measure. To season the chicken, very simple, some salt, black pepper, and vodka. Traditionally, most recipes obviously will use soju, but putting alcohol in marinades generally helps season the meat better and is a great vehicle for flavor. Don't worry, once cooked, the alcohol content will be gone completely. This gets covered up and placed in the fridge for at least six hours. Next, for the flour mix. For fried chicken, always season your flour. It makes all the difference. After searching some Korean language chicken videos online, quick tip when making foreign food, Always look for recipes that are in that language of origin. I find that the recipes that you'll find will always be a bit more precise and authentic. So after searching, I found that a lot of those recipes called for what translates into frying powder. Quick Google search later, these are the ingredients. So in a bowl, mix your flour, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, cornstarch, and baking powder. Set aside. For the sauce version, in a pan, heat up some oil, fry up some garlic, add in some good ketchup, gochujang, soy sauce, and brown sugar. Just let that all come together and simmer. You can then adjust your taste. For extra heat, I like putting in some gochujaru or some red hot Korean pepper flakes. You then add a little bit of water and bubble it away until the right consistency is achieved. In another pan, for fun, let's add some oil, garlic, and ginger rice wine vinegar, lemon juice, miso paste, soy sauce, and honey. Mix all this together and finish off with some butter. This will be a fun little lemon chicken twist on this Korean classic. Now that our chicken is fully marinated, instead of creating a batter separately, we are going to be doing it in the same bowl. Now, before you tell me this is wrong, I've watched tons of Korean chicken videos, way too many. Um, and this is something that apparently is very common. So I will listen to the Korean chefs, if that's okay. With the chicken, add in some milk and some of our frying powder. This should feel thick, like a pancake batter. Every piece of chicken should be covered by now. Then, one by one, you transfer it from the batter mix to the dry frying powder mix. Now time for the first fry. Bring up your oil to about 150 degrees. I'm using rice bran oil here. And gently place in your chicken without overcrowding the pot, obviously. This will go on for about 10 minutes. Obviously, the smaller boneless pieces will cook quicker, maybe around five to eight minutes. Once done, rest for about 15 minutes. Get your oil back up to around 175 to 180 degrees and give it your second fry. Technically, the chicken is already cooked. All we are going for here is color and texture. All Korean chicken shops will double fry their chicken, sometimes even frying it three times. Once done with our first batch, let rest somewhere where the excess oil can drip off and serve.
For the ones with sauce, just heat up the sauce and toss in your freshly fried chicken. You can top it off with some roasted sesame seeds or some sliced scallions if you want to be fancy. For the lemon one, just a little bit of lemon zest will go a very, very long way. Crunchy. Test two, seasoned. Food's ready. Very ready. Yummy.